Hi guys, welcome back to Website Builder Expert. So today I'm going to be giving you a really quick demo of how to change your Shopify theme. So if you don't like your current theme or you just wanna switch things up, but you don't want to lose any of your Shopify content, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Shopify is a great e-commerce platform and it has a three day free trial. So if you're not already using it and you wanna give it a go, I'll pop a link in the description for you. Today I'm gonna to have a look in Shopify's dashboard, gonna have a look through its themes um, and show you how to move move from one template to another. Let's go. Okay, so this is your main Shopify dashboard. So if you've literally just set up your store, this is what you'll see. You can see um, it's come up with my setup guide and checklist. Um, but what I want to be doing is switching up my theme. So to do that, come over to this left-hand sidebar and come down to online store here under sales channels. You'll see when you click on it, it creates this drop down list. And the first one is themes, which is exactly what we want. Um, so it's take me right here. So the default theme for Shopify stores when you first set them up is the Dawn theme. This is a free theme and it's um, the one that all Shopify stores have when you first set them up. Um, so no matter what stage you are with your Shopify store, you probably will want to be changing your theme. Um, you might love the Dawn theme and that's fine, but I will show you how. So you can see this is your current live theme. Um, when you scroll down, you'll see that my theme library is empty and that's because I haven't added anything to it yet. Um, and if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see Shopify presents you with a ready-made list of some popular themes. Um, so this is not the full theme library, um, but it is just a few that Shopify has picked out that you might like. Um, I want to show you the full range though, so I'm gonna keep scrolling down. If you click visit theme store, um, you'll get to see a much larger selection. So here it is. Um, Shopify has a mix of free and paid themes. Um, so you can see there's 13 free at the moment and over 200 paid, um, and they are varying prices of one upfront payment. Um, if you scroll down, you can see you can filter by industry. So for example, if you're starting a clothing store or you're running a jewelry store, you can filter by that and you'll see relevant um, themes appear. Um, that will be good for that industry. But you can also filter by catalog size and by features. So for example, if you want a countdown timer built in, if you would like quick few features built in, you can select these um, and it will again filter down your options. I definitely recommend doing that just for a bit of guidance because obviously there are over 200 themes in the library and it can be a bit overwhelming if you don't have those um, filters to start with. If within that you don't find anything that you love, obviously you can reset those filters and have a little look around and see if anything else um, catches your eye. Um, so I'm just gonna take these off and show you, you can view by just by price. So for example, if you really want a paid theme, you can just select that and it will only show you those and take out the free options. Um, one of the good things about the paid themes is they do tend to just come with slightly more sophisticated features built in and kind of a slightly higher design quality. For example, it comes with different um, color selections or different theme selections within that theme. Um, so if I come down here, I can change um, that and you can view it in the preview. It kind of switches up that theme to different uses, which is really fun. Um, so you can see it's got skincare here. Um, and if you scroll down, you can view all the features um, that come with that theme. So this can really help your decision making. There is a lot of information here, so take your time with it. Um, obviously you can change your theme with Shopify later on, but if you're paying for one, you really wanna make sure um, that you are getting what you want because um, obviously that is a, a fairly large upfront payment depending on which one you go for. Um, you can also sort by price. So for example, if you want um, the cheapest to appear at the top, if you are on a budget, you can see here, it comes up with all the free ones. Um, if we were just in the paid section, you can see the cheapest is $100 upfront payment um, and the most expensive uh, costs about $500. So there's a big price range there for a variety of budgets. I'm gonna go back to the free themes. Um, for this example, I'm gonna pick the spotlight theme. So again, you can open it, have a look through. You can view a demo store if you want a closer look. 
um, and you can view all the information down here. But let's say we've decided this is gonna be our new theme. What you wanna do is click try theme and this will automatically add it to your theme library. So I'll show you in a second, but that bit that we looked at earlier and I, you know, it was empty. There will now be a theme loading in there. So here you go, you can see um, I've now added a theme to my personal library and you can see it's just loading there um, and installing. So that was really easy. It was literally one click to do that. Um, and we'll just give it a minute to fully load. It's now loaded. So you can see it's come up with just added. Um, it's the most recent version. It's up to date. So that's always a really good thing to check. With Shopify's in-house themes, they all should be up to date. But if you're installing a theme from a third party site, um, always make sure that you are installing an up-to-date version. Um, it's just really important for security reasons. So you can see Dawn is still my current theme. So that's what we want to change now. Um, so here we will click publish and it comes up with the message. This will replace your current theme, Dawn. Um, so to confirm, you just want to hit publish again and you can see Dawn has been pushed into the theme library as a sort of backup option. Um, and when you scroll up, you can see Spotlight is now my current theme, um, which is great. And you can see it's appeared in the preview here. So the next step would be obviously to customize your new theme. Um, all your products and things will have carried over from the last theme into this one, um, but you'll still wanna add your own touches. So to do that, you would just click customize um, and you'd be able to go in, add text, update your colors, your layouts, etc. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you found that helpful and that now you can head to Shopify's theme store, pick out a new template and install it with no problems. If you found this video useful, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to head on over to websitebuilderexpert.com for more reviews, tutorials and expert tips. Have a great day and see you next time.